It may not be wrong, but it's definitely not right. That's Madeline Pettengill's take on an unemployment loophole five investigates discovered, allowing some state retirees with pensions to walk into the unemployment office, fill out a claim, and cash in on a benefit meant to help people like her who end up out of work struggling to get by. What are those benefits meant for? What do you believe? Basics. So the roof over your head, you know, gas, so you can find a job. But after searching retirement applications for the Massachusetts Environmental Police, five investigates found retirees getting money for more than the basics. Some double dipping, pocketing unemployment checks and pensions at the same time. Officer Kevin Johnson is receiving a $30,000 a year pension. Officer William Ramsey, 51000 Lieutenant Gary Duncan, 64000 And Major William Balada, 73000 They all collected unemployment when they were forced to retire at the mandatory retirement age of 65. And on top of that, they received tens of thousands of dollars in buyouts for unused sick and vacation time. Under Massachusetts law, those environmental police retirees didn't do anything wrong. It's all on the up and up. Anyone with a mandatory retirement age can collect unemployment for seven and a half months when they reach that retirement age, even if they're collecting a pension. That is troubling. We think that that uh, would undermine confidence on the part of the taxpayer. Jeff Beckwith heads up the Massachusetts Municipal Association, which is working on unemployment reform. In this letter to legislators, he said using the benefit this way is an inappropriate use of taxpayer dollars, forcing them to pay twice. Would you say that it's an abuse of unemployment benefits? I think that it's a loophole that needs to be closed. They're not really unemployed because they're retired and they're getting a pension at the public level is generally probably more generous than a pension that the average taxpayer who doesn't work for a state agency receives. We discovered this is just one of many unemployment loopholes. School crossing guards can collect unemployment when the school year is over, and ex-cons who had work release jobs while behind bars can even collect when they're released from prison. Our four environmental police retirees declined to speak with us on camera, but they did tell us they felt entitled to the benefit because they didn't want to stop working at age 65, even though as taxpayers, several initially hesitated putting in those unemployment claims. When the taxpayer pays for that, that means there's less money available to pay for other vital services. It's just not right because they're taking advantage of the system. Would you call it? an abuse of the system or would you call it a failure of the system? It's probably a combination, you know, and two wrongs don't make a right. And the state doesn't track how many people use the benefit this way. Some retirees tell us they used it to fill the gap until their pension kicked in, but we discovered they can get an advance on their money if needed. Unemployment is reduced when pension payments begin, but that pension is retroactive.